Large Language Models Welcome to this video where we'll explore the fascinating world of large language models. Have you ever wondered how these models are designed and trained to perform a wide range of tasks, from language translation to conversation generation? In this video, we'll use a 3D mind map to break down the complex process of designing and training large language models into manageable and easy-to-understand steps. Transformer Architecture Self-attention is a key component of the transformer architecture, which has become the dominant architecture for large language models. Pre-training Word embeddings can be pre-trained on a large corpus of text and then fine-tuned on a specific downstream task, which can help improve performance on the task. Unsupervised learning Pre-training is an unsupervised learning process where a model is trained on a large corpus of text without explicit supervision. Language modeling Pre-training for language models typically involves training the model to predict the next word in a sentence or to reconstruct a masked word in a sentence. Large-scale training Pre-training large language models requires massive amounts of computational resources and large amounts of text data. Some of the largest language models have been trained on datasets consisting of billions of tokens. Multilingual pre-training Multilingual pre-training is the process of pre-training a language model on text from multiple languages. This enables the model to learn a shared representation of language, which can be useful for cross-lingual tasks such as machine translation and cross-lingual document classification. Embedding Contextualized embeddings Recent advancements in language modeling have led to the development of contextualized word embeddings, such as Elmo and BERT, which capture the meaning of words based on their context within a sentence or document. These embeddings have shown to improve performance on a wide range of natural language processing tasks. Softmax Probability Distribution Softmax is a mathematical function that converts a vector of numbers into a probability distribution. Normalization Softmax normalizes the vector of numbers by exponentiating each element and then dividing by the sum of the exponentiated values, ensuring that the resulting probability distribution sums to 1. Output layer Softmax is commonly used as the final layer in a large language model to generate a probability distribution over a set of possible output tokens. Cross-entropy loss Softmax is often used in conjunction with the cross-entropy loss function, which measures the distance between the predicted probability distribution and the true probability distribution. Loss function Cross-entropy loss is a commonly used loss function in machine learning and is often used in conjunction with softmax for multi-class classification tasks. Information theory Cross-entropy loss is derived from information theory and measures the difference between two probability distributions, such as the predicted probability distribution generated by a model and the true probability distribution. Gradient descent Cross-entropy loss is used to calculate the gradients of a neural network during training and is optimized using gradient descent or other optimization algorithms. Regularization Cross-entropy loss can be augmented with regularization techniques to prevent overfitting and improve generalization performance on unseen data. Evaluation metric Cross-entropy loss is often used as an evaluation metric for language models, 
where the goal is to minimize the loss on a held-out test set to improve the model's accuracy on new, unseen data. Multi-class classification Softmax is commonly used for multi-class classification tasks, such as language modeling and sentiment analysis, where the goal is to classify input data into one of several possible classes. Word representation Embedding is a technique used to represent words as vectors in a high-dimensional space. Continuous space Word embeddings are often trained in a continuous space where words that have similar meanings are closer together in the vector space. Semantic relationships Word embeddings can capture semantic relationships between words, such as synonyms and antonyms, which can be useful for downstream tasks such as sentiment analysis and machine translation. Human feedback Importance of feedback Feedback plays a crucial role in improving the performance of large language models. By providing feedback to the model, its accuracy and effectiveness can be improved over time. This is achieved through a process called fine-tuning, where the model is retrained with new data and feedback to refine its predictions. Bias in feedback Human feedback can be biased, and this can have a significant impact on the performance of the model. If the feedback provided to the model is biased, the model's predictions can also be biased. This is why it is important to ensure that feedback is diverse and representative of a broad range of perspectives. Domain-specific feedback Large language models can be fine-tuned using domain-specific feedback to improve their performance in a particular task or domain. For example, a language model trained to recognize legal terminology can be fine-tuned using feedback from legal experts to improve its accuracy and effectiveness in this domain. Timing of feedback The timing of feedback can also impact the performance of large language models. Providing feedback in real-time can help the model to adapt and improve quickly, while delayed feedback can result in slower and less effective improvements. Quality of feedback The quality of feedback provided to large language models is critical for their performance. High-quality feedback is specific, actionable, and focused on improving the model's performance in a particular area. Low-quality feedback can be misleading, confusing, or irrelevant, and can lead to poor performance and inaccurate predictions. Reinforcement learning RL for LLMs Reinforcement learning, RL, can be used to train large language models to perform a wide range of tasks, from language translation to conversation generation. RL involves training the model to maximize a reward signal, which is used to guide its behavior towards a desired outcome. Exploration versus Exploitation One of the challenges of RL for large language models is balancing exploration and exploitation. Exploration involves trying out new actions to learn more about the environment, while exploitation involves taking actions that are expected to yield the highest reward. Finding the right balance is crucial for achieving optimal performance. Curriculum learning Curriculum learning is a technique that can be used to train large language models using RL. This involves starting with simpler tasks and gradually increasing the difficulty over time, enabling the model to learn more effectively and efficiently. Multi-agent RL Multi-agent RL can be used to train large language models to engage in conversational interactions with humans or other agents. This involves training the model to communicate effectively, understand and respond to feedback, and adapt to changing contexts and situations. Ethics in RL 
As with all forms of AI, ethics is an important consideration in RL for large language models. It is essential to ensure that the models are trained in a way that is fair, transparent, and accountable, and that their actions align with ethical principles and values. This includes considering issues such as bias, privacy, and safety in the design and implementation of RL algorithms. Self-attention mechanism Transformers use a self-attention mechanism to compute representations of the input sequence. This mechanism allows the model to weigh the importance of each input token when computing the representation of each token, enabling the model to capture long-range dependencies in the input. Attention mechanism Attention heads are a key component of attention mechanisms in large language models, which allow the model to selectively focus on different parts of the input sequence. Capturing long-range dependencies Self-attention enables large language models to capture long-range dependencies in text by allowing the model to attend to any other position in the input sequence. Parallel computation Self-attention can be computed in parallel, making it computationally efficient for long input sequences. Interpretability Self-attention has been shown to have some degree of interpretability, as the attention weights can be used to visualize which input elements the model is attending to when computing a representation. This can help with understanding how the model is making its predictions. Multi-head attention Multi-head attention is a variant of the self-attention mechanism that allows the model to attend to multiple, different parts of the input sequence simultaneously. This improves the model's ability to capture complex relationships between different parts of the input. Positional encoding Positional encoding is a technique used by transformers to incorporate information about the position of each token in the input sequence. This allows the model to differentiate between tokens based on their position in the sequence, which is important for tasks such as language modeling. Sequence-to-sequence Encoder-decoder architecture is a sequence-to-sequence -sequence model where an input sequence is transformed into an output sequence. Machine translation Encoder-decoder architecture is commonly used for machine translation, where the input sequence is a sentence in one language and the output sequence is the translation in another language. Limitations Despite its success, the encoder-decoder architecture has some limitations. For example, it can struggle with generating long sequences and can have difficulty retaining information from the beginning of the input sequence when generating the end of the output sequence. To address these limitations, techniques such as beam search and length penalty have been proposed. Transfer learning Attention heads can be fine-tuned on specific downstream tasks, similar to the way in which the entire language model can be fine-tuned. This allows the attention heads to learn task-specific information and improve performance on the downstream task. Attention heads Parallel processing Attention heads operate in parallel and each head can attend to different aspects of the input, such as different positions or feature dimensions. Interpretable Attention heads are often designed to be interpretable, meaning that they can provide insight into which parts of the input the model is attending to and how it is processing the input. Computational efficiency Attention heads can be computationally expensive, especially when dealing with long sequences. Recent advancements, such as the use of sparse attention, have helped improve the computational efficiency of attention mechanisms.